Today's lessons on ratios and scale drawings, and your learning goal is G7.1, solving problems involving scale drawings of geometric figures, including computing actual lengths and areas from a scale drawing and reproducing a scale drawing at a different scale. So I want to talk about what we began in class today, which was the topic of similar figures. And there are a lot of rules about similar figures that have to do with angles that you'll learn in um, upper school geometry. But what I want you to know is that a similar, similar figures are the same shape, but they are not the same size. Similar figures are proportional. And we use that word a couple of times in class today. And what I mean by that is they change by the same scale on all sides. So let's look at an example. Um, I want you to draw these little figures in your notebook. They're kind of like half of a trapezoid. So this is going to be our pre-image and our image. And the values that we're looking at are 5, 4, 7, and 8 compared to 3.75, 3, 5.25, and 6. So I want to know, how do I know that these are similar figures? There are two ways you can figure this out. The first is if they have equal ratios. That's comparing a side on the pre-image to the corresponding side on the image and deciding whether or not they have um, a common ratio for all of the sides of the figure. So on the pre-image, I have a side which is the value of 5. Comparing it to the image, that same side has a value of 3.75. So that would be my first ratio, 5 compared to 3.75. The next corresponding sides would be 4 and 3. The next set, 7 and 5.25. And lastly, 8 and 6. If all these ratios are equal, then I know that my figures are similar. So you can use long division or you can use a magic wand to multiply these values and figure out if you have common fractions. When I use long division, 4 divided by 3 is 1.3. And I'm going to go through and check the rest of my ratios. 5 over 3.75 is also 1.3. 7 over 5.25 is 1.3. And 8 over 6 is 1.3. You should be able to use a calculator to check to see if ratios are consistent. The other way you can do um, see if figures are similar is that they have the same multiples. So if you multiply a number, um, the, the value of a side from the pre-image by the same factor, you should get the value for the post-image. So first, I'll say 4 times a number should equal 3. 
5 times that same number should equal 3.75. 8 times that same number should equal 6. And 7 times that same multiple should equal 5.25. In this case, I know that 4 times 3 fourths is equal to 3. So I just want to confirm that 5 times 3 fourths is equal to 3.75, 8 times 3 fourths is equal to 6, and 7 times 3 fourths is equal to 5.25. All of these instances are, in fact, true. So I do know that I have a set of similar figures. For your proof, please discuss which trapezoid below is similar to the trapezoid D, E, F, G. D, E, F, G. So you have a side length here of 4 and a side length of 12. So you want to decide which trapezoid also has those corresponding ratios.